Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create the light and airy look in Lightroom CC. I will be using Lightroom CC on your desktop, but you can follow along with Lightroom CC on your phone, Lightroom Classic CC, or Photoshop's Camera Raw filter. If you're editing on your smartphone, make sure that you go into the settings and disable any sort of screen enhancements. We'll start by reducing the saturation. If you do this with the vibrance or saturation sliders, the skin tones will look washed out. So we're going to use a different technique. Go to the color section and click on this button to bring up the color mixer. Click on the drop down menu and select saturation. Set the saturation to negative 50 for all of the colors except for red, orange, and yellow. Don't worry too much about the settings because we'll be fine tuning it later. Now switch to the luminance setting. Set the luminance to positive 50 for all of the colors except for red, orange, and yellow. As you can see, the image has a lighter look but the skin tone stay natural. To make your photo lighter, you can bump up the shadows. However, this might make things in your photos like hair and skin look a little bit flat. A great alternative to this is the dehaze slider. Go to the effects section and reduce the dehaze setting. This will add some fogginess to your photo, but be very careful and don't overdo it. As you can see in this comparison image, adding some haze will give your photo a lighter look without that flat look that you sometimes get with the shadows adjustment. You can use a combination of both depending on what you're trying to achieve. Now we're going to edit the tones with the curves. Go to the light section and then click on this icon to bring up the curves editor. If you're not familiar with the curves, don't worry because you can still follow along. But I recommend checking out my tone chart tutorial afterwards. That video will help you understand how this tool works. For now, just follow along. In some light and airy photos, you'll notice that the image looks a little bit dim but it's not underexposed. To recreate this effect, drag the top right point downwards. This will drop the whites. Add a point to the middle and move it back up to the center. This will move the midtones back to where they were before. Here's how the image looks like before and after. If you want to make the effect warmer or cooler, don't use the white balance. Instead, stay in the curves and switch to a blue channel. Add a point in the middle and then drag up to make it cooler or down to make it warmer. You only need to move it very slightly. For my image, I prefer to keep it neutral, so I'm just going to leave this setting alone. Now that we're done with the overall effect, you can go back into any settings and fine tune it. Most of the fine tuning will be in the color mixer. For example, I want to make the foliage a little bit more blue for that film like look. So I'll go into hue settings and shift the green slider towards the right. I'm also going to switch to luminance setting and lighten the greens. You can also lighten the yellows but be careful because this might affect skin tones. And we're done. Here's how the image looks like before and after. To save this as a preset, go to the preset section. Click on the panel menu and select create preset. Give it a name and only checkmark the settings that you've used. Then click save. You can now apply this preset to any photo that you like. If 
if you like this effect, there's a download link for my free light and airy presets in the video description below. There's 8 presets to choose from and you can use them on Lightroom for your laptop, tablet, or phone. There's also a pro version that you can upgrade to, and if you do, thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. In the pro version, you'll get all 50 Lightroom presets and you'll get 50 LUTs that you can use with other software like Premiere, After Effects, and Final Cut Pro. Every preset also comes with their skin protective version which restores up to 75% of the original skin tones. The link for the pro version is also in the video description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Also, if you're new to the Curves tool, remember to check out my Tone Chart tutorial. It's a great way to get an understanding of how it works so you don't have to rely on memorizing tone curve shapes and patterns. Anyways, let me know what you think of this tutorial in the comments below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.